Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shemia, and Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that do rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hope Plan since they elect. This is Brother Makazar from the Trinidad Camp. Just want to do a quick edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be Be a Man Greatly Beloved. Be a Man Greatly Beloved. Alright? Just like when the only voice came from heaven and it says, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Alright? So just like Yahweh Shai, he taught it not robbery to be like the Mosai. Alright? We're not thinking it robbery to be like Yahweh Shai because we're going to be joint heirs with him. So if the Most High Yahweh could say to Yahweh Shai that he's well pleased in his son, then guess what? He could also be well pleased in us. Alright? So therefore, we, you know, we always have to do the things that please and unto the Lord. All right, do the things that the Lord ordained for us to do. He called us to, to you know, to to feed His sheep, to go out, to do the works, to do our lessons. All right, to edify the flock, to grow in grace. All right. So if we and you know and and guess what, we have to keep the commandments also. Paul said, "You will then make void the law through faith." Nay, we establish the law. So we have to keep the laws and commandments and statutes to the best of our abilities. All right. So we have to do the things that please him unto the Lord, Yahaba Shemia Shai. All right. And guess what? If we do the things that please him unto the Lord, we're going to be greatly beloved. All right. And we're going to be well pleasing in the sight of the Lord, just like Yahweh Shai was. All right. This is Daniel chapter 10 and verse 10. It says, And behold, and hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. <laughs> And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling, and he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chastise thyself before your house, you was fasting, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. All right? So he's telling Daniel, Daniel, hey, you know, from since the first day, your prayers, the Lord heard your prayers. All right? Your, your prayers was, was first in line. All right? So it's like, you know, like tab angels that set up that, that bring in the prayers and they say, hey, from these, these individuals, you know, once they pray, once they pray unto me, you know, you, you bring, the, bring the prayers up. Bring the prayers up one time. Don't let it pass through the system or whatever the case is. Just bring it directly to me one time. All right? Because those are the men that are greatly beloved. 144,000 of them. All right? As the scripture says, their angels are always stand before the presence of the most high so they have their prayers going up one time on an express lane to the most high all right but if as the scripture says draw near unto yahweh and he will draw near unto you so when he draw near unto you guess what his ears always open unto your prayers because you greatly beloved of him because you're not only just you know saying yahaba shemia or shai you're doing it with your actions too all right, you love the Lord with your actions, so therefore you're doing the things that well pleasing unto the Lord that will make the Lord smile. The Lord will say, a man who, um, who I greatly beloved, in whom I am well pleased. Just like he said to Yahweh Shai. All right? But for that to happen, you have to do the will of Yahweh Shai. All right? This is... Baruch chapter 4 and verse 4, it says, O Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh are made known unto us. The things that are pleasing unto the Lord Yahweh are made known unto us. So if it may known unto you, then guess what? The Lord showed us how to make him smile. How to make him proud of us. Alright? So just do what he 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 he. You know, what he set you up to do, what he called you to do. The Lord called you to do this, so therefore do it. As the scripture says that you may please him that called you to be a soldier. Alright? 
So he showed you what to do. All right? The scripture says, give diligence that your calling may be like sure. All right? That your calling may be like sure. All right? So, so therefore, if we do the things that pleasing unto the Lord, guess what? The Lord, Yahabah, Hashem, Yahushai, He will always be pleased of us. Pleased of us. All right? This is um. This is Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty-five and verse sixteen. It says, "He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, with favor, not just accepted, but accepted with favor. If you serve the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, with sincerity and truth." You will be accepted with favor. You will be greatly beloved. And his prayers shall reach unto the clouds. Because their angels do always behold the face of the Most High. So your prayers going up one time means that the Lord always there ready to, 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 you know, to, to have his angels minister unto you. Alright? So verse 17 it says, The prayer of the humble pierced the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. It says, give him no rest. Daniel didn't give him no rest. But guess what? He heard Daniel's prayer from on the first day. People, it had people that prayed for years for, for, for things to happen to them. But guess what? And I sh you know, I've you know, witnessed it. And you know, other brothers, you know, um, testified about it and i'm sure a lot of other brothers testified about it that you know that they pray unto the Messiah, and what they prayed for they got it you know asap it, it, it was a quick delivery why because these men once you're doing the will of yahaba shami shai are greatly beloved of yahaba shami shai so stay in the lord's favor <laughs> Don't fall out of the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai's favor. Stay in his favor. Stay in his grace. Alright? Don't do the things to be hated of the Lord. Alright? This is First John chapter 3 and verse 22. It says, And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things which are pleasing in his sight. Alright, so once we do the things pleasing in his sight, we keep the commandments. Wherever we ask, and the scripture said, whatsoever you ask in faith, you're going to receive. Why? Because guess what? The Lord, Yahabah Hashem Yahushua, is pleased in what you're doing. The Lord is pleased in what you're doing. He gave you his name. He gave you his son's name so you could call on him. But once you're using those names, and as the scripture said in Romans chapter 1, you're not holding the truth in unrighteousness. Guess what? The Lord will be well pleased of you and he's going he to answer them prayers. He's going to answer them prayers. He's going to hearken unto your prayers. And he's going to be near unto you. All right? The scripture says, In corruption make it us near to Yahweh. So we close to him. Just like he said, Abraham. He said, The seed of Abraham is friend. The seed of Abraham, his friend. So if Abraham was his friend, then guess what? His seed is going to be the Lord's friend also. Alright? His seed is going to be the Lord's friend also. So we're going to be close to the Lord, providing that we do the things that please in his sight. Keep his commandments. Keep ourselves clean. As the scripture says, keep yourself clean. Alright? This is First John um, chapter 2, verse 28. It says, and now little children abide in him. So stay in him, remain in him. But thus, it's not just about remaining in the truth. But doing the will of Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. Doing the things that please and unto him. That when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Alright? You don't want to be ashamed at the Lord's coming. Alright? And guess what? The scripture said, perfect love casteth out fear. Alright? So that perfect love is you doing the will of Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. And guess what? He's going to have that much love in you that he get a, a, as the scripture says, um, a speedy salvation. 
Roughly paraphrasing, he cannot deliver you quick from among the wicked. Because why? Because you are greatly beloved of Yahweh by Hashem and Shai. Be a man greatly beloved. Remain in the Lord's good grace. All right? Yahweh Shai prayed for us. Remember, Yahweh Shai prayed for us. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. All right? And we, we, we are those lambs that follow his voice wherever he goes. So as long as we follow his voice wherever he goes, we will be greatly beloved. All right? This is the final precept here. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3. It says, the Lord appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. All right? With loving kindness, the Lord drawn us. He called us unto this truth because of love. So, therefore, don't let the Lord repent. Don't let him repent the Lord that he called you and drew you unto this truth. says, no man can come unto the Lord except he be drawn. All right, the Lord called you here to be a soldier. So please, the Lord, Yahabah Shemiah Shai, so that you could be a man greatly beloved. Remember, remember, He called you with loving kindness and everlasting love. And because you are that man that is greatly beloved, the Lord will deliver you. All right, this is Psalms 91 and verse, believers, verse 14. Um. Yeah, verse 14 says, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. All right? He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Because why? He is greatly beloved. I will be with him in trouble because you are greatly beloved. And I will deliver him and honor him because you are greatly beloved of Yahaba Hashem Shai. So remain in the Lord's good grace. All right, and with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles of great medicine that do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole plan, saying, Say, like, there's a brother Makazar from Trinidad camp, saying, Shalawam, and stay strong. Shalawam.